Inside AgriCenter International on Walnut Grove, welcome to Dolphland, a pop-up museum celebrating the music, art, and legacy of Memphis hip-hop artist Young Dolph. I was on every Dolph project he ever dropped, so it, it, it's like, man, just memories for me, and I know it's special to the fans. In a one-on-one -on -one interview with WREG, I caught up with Grammy Award-winning producer Drama Boy to talk about his friend and how Dolphland takes fans inside the art world of the late musician. He was a fan of art and collected art. He even painted his cars different ways and 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 kept you uh, in a mind frame of okay, that's me. You recognize certain things when you see camouflage. You, you know, it reminds you of Young Dolph. Born Adolph Thornton Jr. The Young Dolph exhibit takes a look back at his short but impactful life. Dolph Land, the museum was amazing in LA and that was my first time going to one. But just seeing him on the walls and seeing, you know, the tables and just the foods he would eat. And showcases his lyrics, personality, philanthropy, and historic moments from his career. What all are we talking about here? Oh, you're talking about all of the above, you know, legacy, uh, how big of an entrepreneur he was. You know, I introduced him on a lot of my projects. The 36-year-old multi-platinum rapper was killed in a shooting at Makita's Cookies on Airways back in 2021. Four men have been charged in connection with Dolph's murder. But this museum celebrates his life. Man, I, I think it's really just keeping him alive, bringing a lot of his uh, memorabilia, uh, seeing his memorabilia and seeing his plaques and how many projects and how much he accomplished in such a short time. It's why Drummer Boy says Dolph Land and Young Dolph's music will always be relevant for years to come. His music, he's got over a thousand songs unreleased. So I think, you know, there'll always be some new projects dropping uh, in the future. You know, I've got songs that, that we haven't released with Dolph, so just keeping his name alive. Alex Coleman, WREG-TV, News Channel 3.